Okay guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today's video, just really short, kind of a helpful tip. So uh, I do a lot of hammock camping in my backyard. And as you can see in the back, it's, it's rigged between two, uh, two buildings. And uh, for the cat, for the longest time, I would just use a sleeping pad, a uh, Thermarest Trekker, or a Neo Air Trekker. Uh, and it's a pretty warm pad, but I got uh, mad with having to always kind of readjust it and it wouldn't stay in place. So uh, I set out to, I was in the market for a uh, underquilt, hammock underquilt. And I found out that the cheap ones were, they didn't use a good insulation and they weren't warm. Uh, or they packed really bulky, <clears throat> like the Snug Pack one. And then Eno, they had one for about a hundred bucks called the, forget the exact name, the Ember, uh, which looked pretty good. But then besides that, a lot of them are down. Uh, I think Jacks are better, um, Feathered Friends. I mean, a lot of these higher end kind of mom and pop sort of custom outdoor equipment stores. Uh, you know, so I was, I was like, you know, I don't want to spend 200 bucks on kind of a, a one, one trick pony or a, a single use gear item. And, you know, I got to thinking and I was like, you know, I have this Kefaro Wubi, uh, which uses two ounces of Primaloft or climate shield, two ounces of climate shield. And I've used it as a sleeping bag down to like 40 or 35, I think is the coldest. And as a sleeping bag. I mean, I don't like it that much because it doesn't have a zipper, so it's whole, it's hard to hold the heat in. And, you know, but I I like it a lot. It's multi-cam, super durable, water resistant, uh, nearly waterproof. So I was like, uh, that's about the same size as the underclothes I'm looking at. And I was like, you know, let me just rig something up and I might be able to use that. And it turns out with an Eno hammock, uh, it just so happens it works out perfect. So, I don't know if you can see, it's pretty easy to get into. Swinging all back and forth. Uh, pretty easy to get into. And, uh, pretty much once you get in, you need to reattach one corner. And I'm using Nine Eyes, uh, figure nines. So they kind of have a hook. And on the Kafaro Wubi, there's paracord, uh, paracord tie-off points. So that little loop, I just hook around that. I'll, I'll throw on pictures and it'll make more sense. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to do. And it's been really, really warm. The other thing... I don't know if you can see, but the the quilt comes pretty high up. Protects you from a lot of gusts, a lot of wind, um, which is pretty nice. The other thing is it is multicam, uh, so that's important to you. Uh, it might blend in in the woods a little bit better. Um, for some reason, I ended up with some blue, blue and gray. You know, I'm not a big fan of bright blue, but as a signal panel. Uh, just in case as a signal panel blue is an excellent color but uh, you know once this is on I don't really mind the blue color it blends in in the woods really good and I mean in the city I mean right now I'm just at my house it kind of blends in too added advantage um, like I said I'm going to sleep in it tonight I've slept in it a couple times so far and it, it I like it a lot more because you don't have to worry about um, your sleeping pad and stuff like that um, you it feels like a more fulfilling warmth underneath you know so I just pair this with like a 40 degree sleeping bag and I use that as like a top quilt and it's it's toasty warm um, personally for me it's very comfortable so again if you guys are looking for a under quilt and you want something high quality but possibly multi-function check out the Kafaro Wubi uh, the price is, it's not a standard poncho liner. The Kafaro will be, uh, 
they run around 150 so they're not super cheap with that being said I've used this for a ton of stuff you can make shelters you can use it as a sleeping bag you can use it just lounging around you can use it on your bed as a comforter uh, dogs and cats they love to curl up and lay on it like I said it's nearly waterproof super lightweight it packs down to the size uh, literally almost the size of a Nalgene bottle uh, two ounces of Climate Shield, which is similar to Prima Loft, so pretty high-end insulation, multi-cam, uh, sil nylon. It's probably like 30 to near sil nylon. Um, I think they call it Rhino Skin. It's really durable. Again, if you guys like this video, uh, click the thumbs up down below, and if you haven't already, go back to my homepage, watch some of my current videos. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe.